hi this is c-sharp tutorial of hotel management system so let me show you guys how it works right here those are the details of all of the customers in the hotel for now okay we can always update this information okay or we can always add new data or new customer onto the list okay let's update this information all right let's say we want to update this guy here or maybe let's okay then let's update this guy all right the mail is having is two and the month let's select the month today's date and year 2017 we have the gender okay let's say mail and type of meal okay it's going for family meal or family room type i mean all right so how long does he intend to stay maybe for all right 24 that's about two days okay then. so we'll telephone this extension for the room and just click on total there so we can always save we can always save his details there all right you can see his details right on the system right away Okay, so that is how the system works. The other good thing is you can navigate. Okay, you see that you can move previous, you can go to the first, to the last, exit, you know, and so on. So, what I will do now is take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we'll put one of these together. So, let's do that now. Hi. This is C Sharp tutorial of hotel management system. I'm going to start by clicking on new project. Right here, we select C Sharp. Let's select Windows Forms application. And here, I'm going to give my project a name. I'll call that CS underscore hotel. There. Select wherever you intend to save your project. Click on OK. Now that my form is ready, I'm going to go to the property and let's define the size of this form. Let's make that 1,368 by, I'm going to go for 800 there. The next thing I want to do is, I've already created the database I intend to use because it's an hotel management system. That means all of the data have to be stored. And right in here, I have my hotel database so i've sort of like populated it but not all so far all right that's my database there okay the next thing i want to do now is i'm going to now import this database onto my system so let's do that now but before then let me just show you guys the design of this database there we go that's the design of my database and if you want if you have something like this you can always carry out one or two changes like i've just done here now okay so that is done i'm that's fine i'm now going to close my database back in here so we have data source here but instead of that let me come to the tools here and connect to database okay let's browse to wherever i have my database I should have that in here somewhere scroll down okay I think I need to change this let's change it to all files yeah there we go that's my database there okay now I know where my database is then I have to change this since it's access database I have to change this to the data source make sure that it's access and that is fine okay I'm gonna have to do that again come back in here upload my database all right there we go i'm going to get rid of this admin let's test it out and make sure it's fine yeah that is fine click on ok there all right that's my database there so for me to be able to continue i will have to go into the data source here and add the new data source there we go all right
right click on next because for your information if you can't find your data source you should be able to see it somewhere here so let's cancel it for now right in here if you come to view and um, where we have all the other windows scroll up there you should find your data source which is right here okay let's continue make sure database is selected click on next and click on next again and right here we have our hotel database in there click on next now this message is actually telling you but make sure you read it though telling you that the database will be saved right inside the project folder click on yes that you accept and click on next and right here I have my database in here okay so what I'll do now is just click on the table so that I can select it all and then click on finish yeah that's my database there now so before I continue let me go to the tools and let's get a panel on board there we go that's my panel there and let's bring that panel somewhere here and just let's define it the size of the panel and change the property okay border style I'm gonna make that three fix 3d and the size let's go for 1000 plus that's 1000 to 328 by 618 that's the size of everything let's see that is fine and take that up all right that's fine we will move it down a little bit okay that's fine so the next thing I want to do now is to go straight into my data source drop this down just to check and make sure everything is there the one I intend to use now is data details you grab that details and drop it here and there we go okay Let's select this and just maybe move it down a little bit more. Alright, to make room for that. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Now, the next thing is go back into the data source, change this to data grid view, drag and drop it somewhere here. And now, let's align it properly. Yeah, that is fine and just take it right down somewhere there and drag it all the way right there if I run my program now click on run and see okay guys this is how it looks right now so what I will do now is add a text box here and a couple of buttons there for navigation and to save the system and maybe one more button for the calculation so let's close that and maybe even move this up a little bit okay so let's select it all I'm just gonna select all of these and move it up a little bit okay now we have enough room let's come in here I'm gonna grab a label and let's look for a button there so that is fine copy this label across and let's, let's change this very label we change the details as follows auto size force border style make that white and border style make that 3d back color white okay right there and let's get rid of the content in there what about the font size let's see the font size of these ones the font size of this one is 8 okay so 
but this one I'm gonna be using it as my output so let's make it a little bit bold that will include the price and so on well, let's go for maybe about 18 bold 18 yeah and this one as well bold 18 as well okay that's fine let's change and do that first let's copy this and change the content in there okay i'm going to use this change this to total Okay, so the name will be BTN Total. BTN Total. Okay, right here. Let's call this BTN Reset. And change the test content to Reset. This will be move next. Let's see if we have enough room. Yeah, I think we can add a couple of more buttons. This one will be BTN previous. And that becomes previous there. So scroll right down, change the text name as well. And this. Maybe we can just say move. It's a first, uh, last, and first, last data. Okay. And, and first data as well. We're going to need one for first data. BTN there and all right let's change it around then and this is going to be first data BT, um, BTN first data now we just come in here and change this to first data all right just one more button we can put that right here for now that would be my exit button let's copy change the name of that to exit btn btn exit okay let's start with the exit first double click on the exit and right in here let's say dialog result I'm gonna call that I exit there and inside I exit uh, we enter as follows let's say I exit equals message box dot show let's say confirm Confirm if you want to exit. Comma. Let's enter hotel. Work. Hotel. Management. System. Right. So come in here and enter another comma. Let's go for message box button. Dot try that again comma message box button right there dot yes no and comma and let's go for message box icon dot question right there so and and there with 
a semicolon all right that is my code then use an if statement to check what's happening there if i exit let's put that in i exit equals dialog result dialog result dot yes then application dot exit application dot exit parenthesis there all right here we meant to enter double equals to compare so that's fine this is my that's my code for exit now let's come in here let's move this one we're gonna find a way to fit everything in anyway okay i'll take care of that look after that later on now let's see the name of our project that is it i think that is the database so let me copy that name here okay you can see database system binding source so double click on the system binding source paste that in there dot wait a minute will that be move or what was that okay move next go back in there try that again dot move next yeah okay that we should move next i think there might be parentheses here okay that's fine the next one that's that move previous parentheses then followed by the first i think there's wrong spelling there dot move move first And finally, dot move last. Dot move last. That's all that taken care of. Good. Now, instead of reset, we need to change this to save. Of course, we have to save the system. Copy. So I change this one to save as well. Yeah, that's that save now to save we have the lines of code in here i'm just going to copy that there we go copy all of that and come right here and just double click on that double click paste save is taken care of as well okay i'm just going to now tidy all of this up and now get back to you guys okay this is how the system looks right now so what I'll do next is let's add a tool tip right there double click on that for for the buttons so I'm gonna select this and change that to total cost here I'm just copy that and paste it there anyway total no now we total cost so you guys can do the same thing if you want you don't have to no but i just want to do it next and previous first data if I run it okay this is how the system looks like right now we can move previous we can move first move last exit and even save so let's exit and go back into the system